Life on these streets is hard, a cycle of despair for many that often includes substance abuse, mental health problems, or both. The homeless population here is so vulnerable. Madison Liberty is Homeless Care Outreach Coordinator for the Rimrock Foundation. They need help just like everybody else, and it's nice when we can go to them and meet them where they're at with their needs. Oh, no. So that's what we're I'm heading out in the community with one of Rimrock's homeless outreach teams, also known as HOT Teams. They've been in place about two years now. Help them go through what they're going through and help them walk on their journey. Just like people helped us through ours. You could call this a recruiting mission. Members of the HOT Team hit the areas where the unhoused are known to hang out passing out water, striking up conversations. We're just looking to be able to help wherever we can, whatever that might look like. Um, the main goal would be to help our homeless community and to someone who might need some treatment, some help with some substance abuse. It's building up that rapport, making a connection with them. Several members of the HOT team know firsthand what many of those on the streets are dealing with because they've been there themselves. You know, I had uh, had an overdose and uh, was in the hospital and finally came to the realization that if I don't do something about this, I'm going to die. I was also homeless and um, on the streets and so it's a subject that's close to my heart. Right. Yeah. I took my life as well as in that same direction. I'm a suicide survivor. I'm a combat veteran. I mean, I've done, I've done it all and there's actually quite a few veterans on the streets too that can use our help as well. I lost a buddy in a He's like a brother to me. We went to Iraq together and shot himself. So I think that lived experience is a, is a great tool for connection on a, on a deeper level. They see us every day, so they know that, that we're someone that they can come to. And we're not going to judge or criticize. But addiction is also a stubborn beast. Yes, it gets frustrating because not only do we, we want to give them help, but there's times where we've given them help and they've walked away from us or... Yeah, we'll go somewhere and we'll get cussed out just just because we're there trying to help and call hot team and we'll show up. Not everyone is willing or able to leave this life behind, but some do take that first step. And we've had uh, people who now are getting jobs and they're living in their own homes and they're just doing so great. They're, they've been sober for a long time now and those are the stories that we love to see.